are going. <laughs> I just see him in your lap. <laughs> we are going to play the garden game and show you guys <laughs> how it's played. Apparently, Court's going to help. So, the idea of the game is that you take your rocks, you start in the garden gate, and you spin this weather vane. Um, and this is how many moves you go two, five, six, whatever. Zero. You move your rock down the board. Each turn, you pick a, a garden almanac card, and that card tells you what to do. It could be something as telling you you have amazing mulch, so you pick a garden card. So once you pick your card, this one says pick a garden card, so you'll pick one of these, which I'll just use one that I've already picked, and it'll be a plant like this one's pumpkins, and it has a pollinator of honeybees, bumblebees, and flies. So you have to get what are called pollinator cards to pollinate your garden. And you can see, you can do what's called a set. It has to be two cards and a pollinator that can pollinate both. So I've got nasturtiums, which, what's this one, butterflies and moths, um, can be pollinated by butterflies and moths, and apples, which can be pollinated by butterflies and moths. So that's a full set. I also have pumpkins, but it can't be pollinated by butterflies and moths. I can't say moths. It has to be pollinated by honeybees, bumblebees, or flies. And I don't have those moths. cards. Moths. You also have worm cards, which help protect you from certain things that you'll get in the almanac card thing. Insect predators, which will protect you from different cards that you draw. And then the microbes, which also protect you through different things. So we're going to play a couple rounds, show you guys how it works. What's in, how, how do you finish the game? Uh, whoever gets to the end, um, that stops the game, and you count your cards. Each one's worth a point, unless you get a full set, and then they're worth two points each. And whoever has the most points, meaning you've gathered the best garden of the group, wins the game. So, my turn? Yes. Six. Hold it upside down. Because it spins better. Yeah, the spinner thingy is kind of wonky on this, so we're gonna. It's at four. So I'll take my rock. One, two, three, four. Pick a garden card. Gifts from the garden dried flowers, wreaths, herb vinegars, pressed flower note cards, potpourri, herbal soaps, berry jam, and garlic braids. Your family and friends love the gifts you give. Pick a garden card. And I'm gonna get some bumblebees, which will help pollinate my pumpkins. Now, it's not a full set yet. Once I get one more that is pollinated by bumblebees, I'll have a full set, and these will both be worth two points each, but. All three will be worth. Yeah, all three. Your turn. All right. Two. One, two, perfect. Yes, when you land on the spot with someone else, you get to pick a garden card, or you pick from the compost pile, which is this square here. As long as it has cards in it, which is, <laughs> it does not, so you don't get nothing. So I don't, <laughs> All right, so no rainfall to water the garden. Pay for water from the community well. Lose a garden card. Yes, and you can lose garden cards. You got a lot of worms. Hey, I'm gonna get rid of a worm. My turn. So can I pick it now? No. No? No, that was last turn. I move one spot your freaking rock out of my way. Beehives next door, you benefit from the pollinating honeybees in a neighbor's hive. Give a garden card to the closest neighbor to your left who has a honeybee in their garden. Ah. <laughs> if no one has a honeybee, you will lose nothing. And you have no honeybees. That's crap. <laughs> one. What? <laughs> you did that on purpose. I get this one back. It's his worm card back. Observe your garden plot. Careful record keeping has taught you what works in your garden. This year you have the best yields yet. Pick a garden card. Nice. Corn and wheat. Now that's a full set. Let me take a look at this. So wheat says it's a pollinator of wind and corn has a pollinator of wind and he has a wind pollinator card. So now these are both worth, or all of these are worth uh, two points each. One, 
If you get another one, I swear. <laughs> it's not going to do anything. Let's just lose a garden. Careful crop rotation has cat pests from becoming a problem. Pick a garden card. And I picked potatoes, which are pollinated by bumblebees, so I can add it to this to make it a full set. So now these are all worth two points each. Two, four. One, two, three, four. Easy digging. Deep roots, deep roots from the cover crop you planted last year helped to break up the soil, so seedbed preparation takes less time and energy. Spin again. Oh, uh, yeah. What I love about this game is it's very educational. Zero. You graduate from Compost College for understanding the importance of microorganisms in the soil and for the proper care and feeding of the living creatures of your compost. Spin again. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Personally, I like getting less points around the board because it means I get more garden cards. Yeah. Like, I'm fine oh, with I'm, zeros. I, I understand. I understand. I don't want it to go that fast because you're winning. I am winning. Water, air, minerals, organic matter. Your soil has it all. Pick a garden card. Yes. What do I got? What'd you get? Uh, peas. And they're pollinated not by Self, anything. honeybees, and bumblebees, which I don't have either one of those. Okay. But you have moths and butterflies. That can go there. Yeah, but it, I had to have another one. Well, you can start your... Oh, yeah. Your you, 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 you worry about your <laughs> garden. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Next time, double dig it. Heavy, soggy soil keeps plants from growing to full size. Try some raised beds to loosen and aerate the soil. This costs time and energy now, but you'll be paid back with bigger crops later. Lose a garden card. I'm gonna lose my worms. I still have a worm card though. Six. Boo. <clears throat> you have silty soil in your garden. Add compost. To remedy, use a healthy compost almanac card or lose one garden card. Ha! You got gonna, all those worms. I'm gonna lose a wind. You're gonna get a wind card now. You watch. Yeah, you gotta spin. Zero. <laughs> still good. Careful seed bed preparation pays off. Competition from wild plants, rocks, and roots is minimized by your hard work before the planting season. Reap the benefits of your labor and spin. Again. One. Ugh. Haste makes waste. Transplanting seedlings on a very hot and dry day cause their sensitive young roots to wither and die. Next time, wait for cooler and damper conditions, and I'll lose a garden card. I will lose some ladybugs. Two. One, two. Ooh -ooh. Worms work hard for you. Worms mix the garden soil, bringing important nutrients to the soil surface for the plants to use. If you have a worms card in your garden, pick a garden card. And I've got three, three worms worm cards. cards. So potatoes. Now that's a full set. There you go. See now you're beating me. <coughs> two. One, two. <coughs> Hand tools for tillage. You protect the soil community by using a spade and hoe to till and cultivate. This keeps organic matter near the top where the microbes can break it down. It avoids pulverizing the soil structure and keeps the soil loose. Good choice. Pick a garden card. More worms. I think we have all the worm cards out. One. Used up soil. Planting the same garden plot year after year without putting anything back into the earth has used up the soil's fertility. Plants won't grow like they used to. Lose a garden card. I'll lose a worm. Two. One, two. Soil survey smarts. Taking the time to find out about your soil structure, texture, and fertility, and the amounts of amount of organic matter and humus, hummus, humus, and it helps you choose proper ways of improving its natural qualities. Pick a garden card. I'm gonna say it's humus. Celery, which has a pollinator of honeybees, bumblebees, flies, moths, and butterflies. So, walking. Mm. Pond life next door. You get the benefit of the wildlife from the pond next door. The dragonflies help keep po uh, populations of mosquitoes down. The frogs eat slugs and bugs. And birds entertain with song and dance. Give a garden card to the neighbor on your left. You're on my right. I'm 
on your left the long way. Ugh. Oh, yeah, give me more worms because yeah. I've already got two. Yeah. You have clay soil in your garden. Add compost. To remedy, use a healthy compost almanac card or lose a garden card. I'll lose. I just gave you those. I don't want your stinking worms. That's rude. You're rude. One, two, three, four. Why your soil's not doing any good? How dare you? Compost. <laughs> a recycler's reward. You return all weeds, fallen leaves, grass clippings, and kitchen scraps from your household to your compost pile. You can never have too much compost. Pick a garden card. You hear that? You can never have too much compost. One. <laughs> Next time, make your bed. <laughs> Sticks and stones block root zones. Now seedlings won't grow well here. Work on preparing your seed beds. Lose a turn. Zero. <laughs> At least you get... Oh yeah. Tools of the trade. You left your tools out in the weather. Now your shovel handle has rotted out and your hoe has rusted through. Buy a new handle and hoe at the community store. Lose a garden cart. Don't you dare. You didn't want me to say it? <laughs> Where have uh, I heard whoa, that before? Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, that's whoa, right. You whoa, go whoa. again. <laughs> um, I'm about to lose peas. Losing your peas. Dang right, he's losing his peas. Two. One, two. Code frame bonus. The code frame, like a mini greenhouse, you built for starting plants a little earlier in spring and for keeping plants alive a little longer in the winter has extended your growing season by six weeks. Pick a garden card. Nice. We love cold frames. Two. One, two. Slugs invade. Ugh. Frogs and toads to the rescue. To remedy, lose a frogs and toads garden card. If you have none, lose any other garden card. I will lose my celery. Actually, no. I'll lose a worm. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we finished. And Donald won. Word. Uh, count up your points so they, they can kind of see. So, these right here, one, two, three, four, five points. These, because they are full sets, are two points apiece. So, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 points. 23 points. And I had... Less. Um, <laughs> less. <laughs> so I had 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I had two sets that are worth two points each. But uh, it was a good game. I, my battery or my phone ran out of room before we could finish. But I think you guys kind of get the idea. It's actually a really fun game. <laughs> um, and it teaches you a lot. These almanac cards are phenomenal. Phenomenal.